Welcome back, everybody, for another episode of our solo survival series. I am Pathfinder. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day. Um, I'm pretty excited we get to play some Minecraft today. Let's get started. Um, we got a lot of fun things planned for this episode, so let's see what we're going to be doing today. Um, today, I think we are probably going to get started on what will be our tallest build. Um, I guess probably our, our largest build in terms of just a singular building in this world. And um, yeah, I want to get started and build it right over here. As you saw, we went through and gathered up tons of materials. Um, this is going to take so many resources, it's going to be uh, crazy. Um, the only thing I kind of forgot to get was me terraforming this area. So, uh, unless you'd watched before, you'd have no idea what this looks like. So, here's a little clip from my last episode when we built this boat um, of what this area looked like before I terraformed it. Because now it's all nice and flat and, and looking good, but let's see what it looked like before. I kind of want to try and make a boat uh, right here off of this dock next to the mining area. Uh, we put the docks in uh, a few episodes ago, and I'd like to have something in the water as right you here. Can... Looked... Well, now as you can see, we have a nice, flat, grassy area in which to build. Um, and I think this is going to be the start of our new project in the world, which will be to kind of get this area right here over my shoulder, which is the only entryway into our little... Um, I guess lake that our home is next to it's the only entryway into it and so I want to consider this like our harbor project I would say and I think for any good harbor you need to have a lighthouse and I think this will be the perfect spot for a lighthouse look we couldn't see the ocean before because all those rocks and the mountains and the mesa were in the way. I guess they weren't mountains, but it was all in the way. And it was obstructing this beautiful view of the ocean that we have behind us. And I think this would be the perfect spot since it is right on the edge of what I would consider to be the entryway into um, our little lake. That this would be the perfect spot to build a lighthouse. So I think that's what we're going to get started on. We've got tons of plans for this whole area to kind of get it uh, ready for a nice entryway into where our lake is. But yeah, let's get started. So it's getting late. We need to get some sleep. It's a beautiful sunset, beautiful day. Um, oh, look, I finally textured the wall over there a little bit. So yay, finally got that done. Um, Anyway, we are going to get some sleep, and in the morning, we will get started on our lighthouse. All right, so it is a beautiful morning to get started on this build in our Minecraft world today. And um, I think the plan for this build is uh, it's going to be two layers to start before we start to build the actual tower of the lighthouse. So I think we're going to have a uh, kind of like a, a two-tiered um, wide base for it. And then we'll build up to the tower. We'll have the lights. And yeah, we'll just go from there. Uh, I think I want the entrance to be on this side. Something maybe where this is just kind of naturally here. We'll go through and reshape it a little bit. But something where the stairs wind up to this and we kind of get out into the middle. Um, I have an idea as to oh what the base should look like. Um, so I think we'll just kind of go from that. I think it's going to be the actual building will be 21 by 21. So this looks pretty center. Let's make this our centerpiece. Um, if it's going to be three wide, that means there will be columns on either side. Okay, so let's go through and get this built up. We're going to make uh, columns all the way around and build them up four tall. Let's go.
Well, I think that'll do it for the first layer. We went through and we got it textured a little bit here to kind of give it some block variants with the tuft and the andesite, uh, along with the stone, the cobble, or the polished uh, black slate, and the cobbled black slate, deep slate, black slate. It's not black slate. Black slate's in the nether, deep slate. Anyway, so I think this bottom layer is looking pretty good. We've got, um, we've got a decent uh, foundation here for our lighthouse. Now the inside, we're going to kind of have to wait and see. I'm not 100% sure how it's going to look. Um, so I don't want to start putting a bunch of blocks down that I may or may not need. We'll just have to see what we can do with the stairs. But we made a bunch of lanterns. So I'm going to go through and put lanterns on the inside of all these. I think this will look good around the foundation. Um, so I'll do this and then we'll get started on the second level. I think I'm going to need to figure out how we're going to get up there, like what the stairs will look like. So I'll work on trying to get these stairs in and then we'll get started on the second level. I would say our first level is complete. So we went through and added these upside down stairs because it was a little bit flat along the front, a little square. Um, so we added the polished andesite stairs and the regular andesite stairs just all the way around to give it a little bit of depth and a little different type of texture. Um, I think the first level is, is good. We, we need to go through and decorate the inside. I'm not sure what it'll look like yet, but we'll go through and figure that out. But we at least have our steps coming up. So on this level is where um, this will kind of be our second tier. And this is where the lighthouse will start to take shape a little bit more. Um, it is going to be red and white. So we've got granite, polished granite, diorite, and calcite. We'll also use some polished diorite. I don't think I have any on me, but we'll use that as well. And then we are smelting or cooking some stone smooth stone because we're going to need smooth stone slabs um let's see where are those at yes let's just make a whole bunch of them so yeah i think this is where the lighthouse will start to look a little bit more like a lighthouse and start to take shape we've got a good foundation um let's go up on the second level and get started on the next level of the lighthouse So just like with the bottom layer, we made it the columns four tall. And as I usually do when I'm building, I will use the primary block um, and just go through and fill the whole thing in everywhere with the primary block. And then once we've gone through and really kind of set it to look the way we want it to, that's when we'll go back and add the texturing. So again, we made this one one, two, three, and then their fourth one right there. And I tried to just do it all in stone. And then once the stone was down, then we went through and added our andesite and our tuff and just tried to make it look a little bit different. Same thing with these. Um, I think for me, that's kind of the best way to do the texturing because if I try to go through and do it while I'm building and make it random, it never looks random. For me personally, I always think it looks better when I step back and kind of add it in on it on its own um so now just kind of like in the lower section we're going to go through and add the middle wall here kind of the filler wall um, and this is where the white will start to jump in so we'll fill it in with uh, the diorite and then we'll go back through and mix it up with the calcite so really we're just going to go through and and kind of kind of do this to where it's going to fill it in because um, that's as tall as it'll be. So that's all you'll need to see on the front. And we'll just bring this all the way down. Start to fill this section in. We have the main base of the second tier of the 
lighthouse completed now. So we've got all the white filled in and all the red pillars filled in everywhere. So I think now we just need to go through and start doing some texturing. Try and break it up a little bit, give it some, uh, give it a little bit of a, a different look. So let's just jump in and we'll kind of randomly try to go through and pick out some blocks to make this thing hopefully look a little bit better. Let's see what we can come up with. I'd say it's looking pretty good. We've got all the texturing done for that second level. There's a free lead. So we went through and added in, we started with the polished granite obviously, and then we went through and just added in regular granite to help kind of break it up. I kept falling. I couldn't stay up there for some reason, but anyway, we um, went through with the diorite and added polished diorite and the calcite. So I think it looks pretty good. I'm happy with kind of the texturing and the way it's starting to turn out. Um, but I don't like these big empty gaps here. I would like to fill them in. Number one, I don't want mobs to spawn on the other side of these slabs. And number two, I just think it looks a little plain. So I think we're going to go through and do this. Put stairs like that and then buttons. Um, I'm going to go through and see what I think. I, I, this might work for me. I don't know. We're going to give it a try. Let's see. I would say I definitely like it. This is coming along pretty nicely here. The, uh, the lower base, I think, is basically done. And now we can get started on the tower. Which I think the tower probably look like one of the most impressive parts because it's tall but I think it should be fairly easy to make the actual tower it's more of where the lights are going to be and the roof that I'm, I'm more concerned with but I think the tower should be pretty straightforward um, we'll need walls so I think we're gonna make the tower out of uh, granite walls and then we will go through and blend in the hello buddy we'll blend in some brick walls to go with it as well as our diorite and calcite uh, through the middles so I added this little white uh, wall trim along the top here and um, yeah I think all we need to do is just figure out how we want it to look and then get started on it yeah let's take a look and see I think I have figured out uh, how I want it to look um, I had an idea to begin with but I think this will make it a little bit easier if we go through and map it out one two three it's gonna be like here it'll be here so we'll go through and we'll get the four corners of it set up um, it's nice and even so it should be shouldn't be too hard um, so let's get the corners set up and then we can go through and make sure our design is gonna look the way we want it to so again we'll do the same thing we'll use the main block to tower all the way up and then we'll go through and texture it um, it looks like we're gonna need some walls so we're gonna use polished on the outside and then it'd be nice to have like regular walls on the inside to kind of contrast now we'll obviously we'll go through and break them up the whole way but we'll just do this for now to kind of get an idea and we need um, the diorite and diorite and then walls and that is going to be our pattern so this is ultimately what we are going to try and work with um, diorite diorite
Make sure we get our walls in. And that is it. This is what it's going to look like. So now is the easy part, right? We know exactly what we want it to look like. We just need to pillar it up and make it up to the height that we want. And I think we're going to go, um, let's go up 20. Let's go up 20 and see what that looks like. So literally all I'm going to do is take all these blocks that I just laid down straight up 20 and then we'll go back and texture it once it's done. So we had to run all the way home to get more food. We were actually almost completely out of food as well as we are almost out of uh, diorite. I think we're going to have to go mining to get more. Uh, I don't think we're going to have enough diorite to complete this project. So I think I'll have to do a little more mining to get to get what we're going to need. But there's our progress so far. You guys saw me stacking blocks. We're just going to keep going up. And uh, yeah, when we run out of diorite, I guess we'll just go and uh, do a little mining. Looks pretty cool though. Man, this thing is... This is going to be really big. This is going to change the landscape of our world quite a bit. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited to see it. So in the process of doing this, stacking these blocks up to this height, um, I keep dropping all the way down. I just jump off. Um, thank goodness for my boots, which have Feather Falling 4. Um, and I actually just added Depth Strider 3 to them. I know that doesn't help with the falling, but oh my goodness, I feel like they're faster than a boat. Um, when I'm in the water, it's, it's insane how fast that is. Um, but one of the things I've noticed is that if I jump off and I land right in the center of that, did you hear that? I didn't take any damage. If I land in the center of the scaffolding... I had no clue. See, there I took damage just from that little shot. But if we pillar all the way up, if I can time it just right again to where we land in the center of the scaffolding, I don't think I take any damage. I had no clue. Listen to that. Crazy. Did you guys know that? I had no clue. Anyway. And now that the tower is built, um, you guys know the drill. What we need to do is we need to go through and texture it. We need to go through and get some block variants in there and kind of break up the pattern. So let's jump in and, and start to texture the wall up a little bit. The tower is completely textured and it takes a really long time to go through and do something like that. I think it's just going up and down the scaffolding and stepping back and looking at it, trying to get it to be the way you want it. Um, but I'm, I'm super happy with the way it turned out. And uh, now we just need to build the platform on the top. So the platform should be pretty easy. We're going to use some... Um, uh, stairs. We'll use the diorite stairs. And we're just going to place uh, two levels of upside down stairs all around the top of this. Um, I'm going to jump up there and put the stairs down. I will meet you up there. All right. This seems to be coming along pretty nicely. Um, we're getting everything textured up here now. We've got the uh, ring around the top for our base. I really wish that... Um, scaffolding worked differently um, as you can see you can't turn the corner with it it just won't go that far uh, we it's fine we use cobblestone to get around but man it sure would be nice if scaffolding went just a little bit further but that's okay we're gonna get this textured and we're gonna get the uh, lights up in our lighthouse 
now that we have our new platform to build on, let's put up a fence so that we don't fall off. This will be like the, um, like almost like a little uh, catwalk area just outside of where the lights will sit. So we will be able to come up here, which I think is going to offer a great view uh, of our world. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like when we're done with this. So we'll just go through and connect all that. Um, don't need this. Okay, so we're going to stick with our four tall, just like we did on the bottom, for our bottom two platforms. So for this upper platform that's going to house the lights, we will put it up on a four tall pedestal as well. Um, kind of try and stripe it a little bit so that it ultimately kind of matches the same feel um, with the red and the white. Um, so yeah, let's go through and do this and then I'll get it textured up. We'll build our little platform and then put some lights in this thing. Excited. Let's do this. Let's go. And we did it. We have made it to our final platform of the lighthouse. This will be the one where the lights will go. Um, let's climb up here. I think... Well, all we really need to do is start to put down glass and the redstone lamps, which I don't have with me, of course. But let's get the glass down. Um, once we get the glass down, we can fill in the redstone lamps and the redstone and put a roof on this thing. And then we will be done with the main part. Let's get this put together. Now that the glass is in, let's go through and fill this thing up with redstone, what are they called? Redstone lamps. I think these things actually, with this little texture on it, I think they actually look like it would be a light in a lighthouse. I love it. I think this thing is great. Now you saw me in the nether getting the glowstone, and you know I hate the nether, so I must really want this um, to look like this if I went all the way down there and got all that. Um, we're going to get the redstone uh, laid down in here. And once we get the redstone complete, I will go through and show you um, exactly what it's going to look like. Give me just one second. Well, after some trial and error, this is how we ended up powering our redstone lights. Um, I know I started to put redstone down, but obviously that wasn't going to work with the way I wanted to power it with one anyway. So we just put torches down across the bottom and the torches power the bottom level and the middle level once you put these blocks down and then we just drop the redstone in the corners and oh my goodness, is it nighttime? Okay. Um, and so now they are all on. So that is perfect. Uh, we have our lighthouse lights are on let's jump down and see what it looks like at nighttime oh i like it i like it a lot let's get the roof on Let's go. Wow, I feel like I could have done a whole episode just on making this roof. My goodness, I hope I like it when I get down. These things are always so tricky to tell if it's going to be proportional or not. Let's get all the way down and take a look. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I think the roof turned out really proportional. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Man, this video is going to be the longest video ever. I'm hoping that I can get it under 30 minutes, but wow, that looks amazing. Um, I am really happy with that. 
I think now I'm going to go through and do all the other fun stuff real, well, not real quick, but off camera. And uh, I'll show you guys the end result. We need to build a pathway up there. We need to get some landscaping done. We need to do the interior. We need to figure out how to get to the top. Um, so there's still quite a bit to do, but yeah, I love that. I'm so excited that this is done. Um, and it looks great. So let me go through and get some work done and I'll see you guys here in just a little bit for the finished product. Well, the lighthouse is finished and I have to tell you from the last time that I recorded on this video, it has been probably about eight hours. I went through and did so much work and I think one of the best ways for us to get started to see it is to look at this map. This map has not been updated, so you can see this is the island with the lighthouse and this is the island next to it. Take a look. Now let's see what the new one looks like. And now look at it. Isn't that unbelievable? We removed that entire island right here that was in front of it. Not only did we remove that whole island, but we took it down two levels, took away all the stone and whatever else was down there and replaced it with sand and um, grass so that we could go through and bone meal it all. And I got to tell you, I love the way it looks. It really makes the island look like it's just, you know, it, it's its own thing. Here, let's look on the roof real quick. Um, I spent so much time on this, you guys. I know this video is really long. I never wanted to put out a video over 30 minutes, um, but this one's going to be over 30 minutes. There's just too many things I want to talk about um, that I went through and did with the decorations. But let's go over and take a look. Let's get our first peek at it here. And um, yeah, I will try to unpack everything I've done in the last eight hours. I mean, first off, most noticeably, you can see that the other island is completely gone. We removed it, replaced everything, like I said, and bone mealed the whole thing. So now I went through and terraformed this island as well. We removed all the singular blocks all the way around. So there is only one way to get on the island, and that's with this little dock that I made right here. Uh, we put the wall all the way around it. We did some landscaping. Um, we decorated the interior. Um, it just took a long time because I, ultimately I had to gather lots of materials um, to kind of complete the project here. Let's go over and take a look. So you can see island is gone. I went way overboard with the bone meal, but I just love the way it looks. I think it looks so much better. It's like a little coral reef here. Um, and as you pull up now, like I said, it's there are no blocks for anybody to get up anywhere around the entire length of the island. Um, oh my gosh, look at it. This is awesome. So this little dock here we made just out of oak, gates, and um, campfires. And this is the only way you can get on the island. You can jump up here on this. And we've got our little um, stone stairway leading up to the entrance. Now, once we get up here to the entrance, we kind of made um, a little gate, uh, a, a metal gate that can, well, obviously it can't close, but looks like it can close. And then we added the hedges along the side here as well. And if you look, you can see we kind of started with like a wall through here before we got like a block wall before we get around to the regular walls. Um, I love... I just love the way this whole thing turned out. Um, I went through and on our design through here, I wish I was not so ADD, but um, there are no torches in here, right? So we put glowstone in the ground underneath the moss and then we threw moss everywhere. Um, gosh, I just bone mealed this whole place and then I go through by hand and pick <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, I have to say it out loud, but I go through and I pick which pieces of grass I want to stay. Um, that's how crazy I am. Um, we put gray carpeting along this edge so that nothing can spawn, as well as we put white carpeting up on the roof so that nothing can spawn. 
Um, if we go through this way, you can see we've got bushes uh, growing up around the edge here come around the corner and on this side there isn't really much on this side we left this side just kind of a nature scape kind of natural um, we do have the nice tree here I love the particle effects um, coming off of the uh, flower here come around into the back and we've got our wall that goes all the way around it and like I said nothing can come up out of the water all these are two blocks high so nothing can get up um, which I really like that as well. So we come around in the back, we've got a little bit of storage. Come around this way, we've got another tree. And this is where we kind of get to our area where we have some more storage, but we have extra logs here for our campfire. So we just got a nice little place uh, to come outside and sit next to the ocean. I mean, this thing was so tall, we couldn't see the ocean before. And now we're right here. We've got a beautiful view of the ocean. It's This is great. Um, yeah, just the bushes, all of the plants that are here. Uh, I'm so crazy that everywhere that you see double tall grass, that was me using uh, one bone meal to make it double tall. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I get it. I'm, I'm a little bit nuts, but... Yeah, I mean, I just, that's why it took me so long. I don't know if you guys would ever be interested in watching me do terraforming or decorating or coming up with like how to do entryways. Just let me know in the comments. Um, I usually skip all that because I don't think that it's something that people would want to see in the video. Um, but if you are interested in it, just let me know. Um, so yeah, that that's the entire exterior. Again, when you look down through here, we bone mealed all of this on the outside. Everything is lit up down there, so we should be pretty safe. Let's check out the interior. So the way, wow, doesn't that look great? Man, I love this thing. Um, yeah, I love it. So on the interior, uh, we kind of tried to design it a little bit different than I had originally planned. And what we did was, is we made these fireplaces right at the entryway. So we've got these little couches and we've got all of our C items displayed um, as you see the item frames throughout the, the interior. They should all have C themed items. But I figure if people are coming in um, off boats and from off the sea and they come in here and they want to get warmed up, as well as these two fireplaces provide the warmth for the entire uh, lighthouse. Uh, when we come upstairs, we've got two areas where you can go through and clean your fish. So this is like a work prep station area where you can go through and clean your fish, as well as we've got the units here to be able to go through and cook all your food after you've been out at sea. Um, I like it. Again, I tried to put sea uh, themed items in, in all the frames. Um, I realized that a staircase to get to the top was not going to be realistic. It was going to end up being bulky and weird. So we have ladders. And you come up into here, and this is just like a storage area. So this is um, just a spot where, you know, they can come in and store different items that they may need. Um, yeah. I like this little spot. I, actually, I really like this room. I don't know why. Just something about all the tables and the different levels um, of items. Just something about it. Um, and here is our stair or our ladder all the way up. So we used. Um, you see these often on like um, fire escapes on big buildings. And so this is the cage that goes around the ladder. Um, let's go up and check out the office for the lighthouse master get up here and here is his office so again we tried to use nautical themes he's got uh, his pitchfork or his trident not a pitchfork a trident um, we've got a compass we're actually going to use this we can look around when we get outside but he's got all the stuff that he would need here for his maps and his log um, and we've got a map now we haven't updated the map let's update this one too Boom. So we've got the map here as well as he's got his bell um, and some storage. And this does offer us a way outside. Again, we put a white carpet 
on anything up there so that nothing can spawn. And yeah, wow. I mean, what an amazing view of our world. I got to tell you, th this is one of my favorite builds. I absolutely love this. Uh, at first, when I started to go through and decorate it, I started to get all these different ideas and I just couldn't help myself. I just kept adding more and more. Um, and I got to tell you, it's absolutely one of my favorites. Oh, look, we got a chicken, a loose chicken. Anyway, wow, that's kind of cool. I wonder what those are. It's interesting. All of that out there is coral reef. I mean, it goes on for thousands of blocks. I'm not even joking. It literally goes on and on. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I love the way this turned out. Um, I love everything about this build. Uh, it's, it turned out better than I could have expected. And I, I think it's just, uh, the first of many cool things that we're going to build. Um, I don't know if I'll work on the Harbor more or if I'll start on another new building. It's funny. The trap doors don't generate. So you just see the campfire. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but let me know what you guys think. Um, tell me what you think of the design. Tell me what you think of the terraforming. And let me know if, you know, ultimately you guys would like me to show less of the building process and more of the decorating terraforming process. Um, I think we're going to jump back and take one more look at it uh, from a distance um, and we'll try and catch it in the morning time. So give me just one second. We'll jump back and take one final look at it. Wow. I love this place. This is awesome. All right. I can't thank you guys enough for watching. I really appreciate everybody taking the time out of their day to watch this episode. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Again, let me know if there's anything um, that you guys would like for me to do different or would like to see. Uh, but if you are enjoying, please leave a like on the video. And I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. It would help out my channel a lot. Um, but I think that's going to do it, everybody. I am so sorry that this video went on for so long, but I really appreciate you guys um, taking the time. And remember, everybody, always make your own path.